Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. And welcome to Seattle. What the heck are we doing in Seattle? That's the question. <laughs> we're back, oh my gosh. Every few months we're here. Last time you guys saw us, we did our little trip to England and Singapore, and uh, that Singapore video is live, and we had a blast. We crammed a lot in in that video, so if you wanna see what Singapore is all about, and I mean all about, go check out that we video. Almost everything you could do there. <laughs> yeah, but you guys know that we ended up cutting our trip a little bit short. We ended up heading home for the holidays and just spending uh, a good few weeks with family. It was kind of a nice little break, you know? Yeah, we'll touch more on that in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe not the nicest break, but yeah. yeah, we'll get to that. But we're back because Clementine is here and she is not doing so hot. So we have come back to get her all healthy yeah. and road ready again. Honestly, the thought of her and Ruby just sitting in someone's yard for almost two months now, it's just yeah. been too much for me. So we booked a flight out to Seattle to sort it out. But mostly we wanted to just uh, give you guys an update and uh, let you know what's coming up next for us on our endless adventure. Ooh. Hey, this is a nice little samurai right here. Ooh, have you ever seen one this good? She is maybe the cutest little car in the entire world. Yeah, so we have picked up Ruby. She does start, so we're very happy about that. She never has any problems, really. But man, she is super dirty right now. Look at all this crud on her. Ugh. She's used to being dirty. I feel like she's permanently dirty. And look, we figured it made sense to park her right next to this awesome little Volkswagen over here. Aww. Look at that thing. That is like one of the prettiest I've ever seen. Two little red vintage cuties. <laughs> Welcome to our little Seattle Airbnb. Not pictured are about a billion plants lining the wall in front of us. Yeah, we're actually a huge fan of it. We keep saying, man, if we ever have a place of our own, we're gonna have so much freaking greenery in there, we're gonna make it like a jungle. Assuming we don't kill all the plants by leaving and not watering them and not giving them sunlight. That happened one time. <laughs> yeah, we're feeling pretty good being back in Seattle, other than it's freezing cold outside, but. Well, and it's not even as cold as it's gonna get, you guys. No. This Arctic blast, I'm sure all of you are watching this, maybe in the middle of it actually at the moment, but it's coming and I'm a little nervous. Yeah, and it's actually much colder in Missouri, which is where we came here from so yeah I'm, I'm feeling all right about it they're predicting like negative wind chills and snow and ice and i don't even know what's gonna happen we might literally be stuck here for a while yeah we'd like to leave here before all that stuff happens because you guys know we really don't like traveling and that stuff especially with ruby and uh clementine <laughs> yeah they're, they're not meant for cold extreme weather yeah we did that a bit up in alaska if you guys remember that and man they got so icy and so dirty oh, oh man there's no. so much sludge caked on this little bump out over here what did Clementine do to you? Oh my God. It's like all the way up to the roof. It took us a whole day just to clean them up. But we completely forgot to mention, welcome to 2024, you guys. Oh my God, another freaking year. <laughs> yeah, man, 2023 was like, kind of flew by like that. It had its ups, it had its downs, as you guys are aware of. Really the highlight for me was that trip through California. Yeah, I think that's been probably our favorite trip so yeah. far. Starting down in Death Valley, which was wild, and then driving all the way up and going all the way up into Alaska, like from deserts and the hottest temperatures on earth to snow. It yeah. was pretty cool. Putting the RV on a ferry, <laughs> you guys know, that was a freaking adventure for sure. Man, it's so funny to think that we're in the 20s. So like 100 years from now, when they talk about the 20s, they're gonna be talking about this decade. I know, a quarter <laughs> century in. Yeah, that's crazy. Presence. My niece just, I think, posted a picture of my sister, her mother, saying, my mom in the 1900s, and I was a deep God. cut. For these young kids, the 1900s are like the 1800s are for us. Oh my gosh. Wild. But yeah, we figured we'd start the year off with a little update video. I feel like we haven't done one of these in a while. Sometimes it's nice to just sit and talk, tell you guys what's on our minds, tell you guys what our plans are. I think the uh, the last sit down talking video we did um, was at the start of 2023. And it was also <laughs> bad news. Yeah. So I apologize that these are usually have a lot of bad news in them. Yeah, this video is gonna be a little bit of a downer, you guys. I'm gonna forewarn you, so sorry about that. Yeah. But if y'all caught our England series, you know that we ended up, uh, we were gonna spend more time in Singapore, more time in England, but we ended up having to cut that trip short. I kind of mentioned at the end of that last video that my mom kind of took a turn for the worse. And uh, yeah, she ended up being bedridden. So uh, we didn't want to spend any more time in England. We wanted to head back to Missouri and spend as much time as, with her as possible. And of course, you know, my brothers were there stuck taking care of her and I wanted to be able to help them. I didn't want to kind of leave them on their own. Um, so that's the reason we ended up cutting our trip short. Uh, I'm very sad to say that she did end up passing away. Uh, it was the day after Christmas, so at least it wasn't on Christmas. Yeah, if you guys remember, it's been about a year and a half now she got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, and that was over the summer. And then last uh, New Year's, my mom passed away. And then his mom has been battling cancer all last year she tried chemo it did help things it but ultimately it just wasn't good quality of life for her so she stopped that 
they gave her two months to live and she ended up living for about six months after yeah. that. They kept giving her two months to live over and over and over, it seemed like, but she kept just living and living. And she was actually doing really, really good there until basically when we posted that video in England. That's, yeah. that's why we were comfortable kind of traveling around a little bit and then coming back here, back to Missouri when we can. But the minute she was bedridden, we knew that it was like the time was starting to come. But within two or three weeks from that point, she was gone. Um, so she had a really good quality of life up to that point. We spent so much time with her. We went on family trips. We didn't film any of that stuff, obviously, but my mom loved to go to the casino and play cards and stuff. So I went and played, showed her how to play craps because I love craps and we played all night. We both won like 600 bucks each. So it was like one of my last memories of hanging out with her. So it's a really good memory. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to all of you. You guys have been so kind and so sweet through all of this, just giving us so much encouragement and sending a lot of good thoughts and prayers our way. So we really appreciate that. Um, if any of you are dealing with cancer or have family members dealing with cancer, it's a it's a horrible, horrible thing. We can now sadly say we know how it feels. Yeah. It's rough. One thing I've noticed going through this whole process is that when you feel like these really negative grief emotions like going through it and then ultimately going through my mom passing away and going through the funeral. You end up feeling like it's a really personal experience that you're kind of alone in just because you can't, you feel the pain inside but you can't really know what someone else feels and it almost feels like you're just alone with that grief and that pain. A lot of you guys sent messages just saying how you went through the exact same thing with your mom or with a relative. Some people the exact same type of cancer. Some people had it just as bad as my mom did, went through the same exact thing. So. Um, obviously it sucks bad that anyone has to go through it, but to know that other people know what it's like and I'm not alone going through it, to be honest, it really was like a comforting thing. I kept just telling, telling myself that like, I know it feels like I'm alone in my emotion, but I'm deep down. I knew that I wasn't, you know, plus Allison kind of went through the same thing. So yeah, unfortunately... Sorry, it's kind of hard to talk about you guys. I don't, I don't want it to be like a big down, down or emotional video or something, but, but I do think that, um, going through a, a, a parent dying and just grief in general is something that I don't think we're well equipped for in life. I don't think people talk about it enough and they don't tell you what it's going to be like. You can't know until you go through it, but it's coming for everybody. And I didn't know that, you know, until it was, I was in the thick of it until he right. was in the thick of it. Yeah. We've had a lot of conversations about this, obviously going through all this over the last couple of years, but uh, some things you just can't know until you go through it. And then once you go through it, you're like, Oh, this, this is what everyone else has been feeling yeah. when they have to go through this. And I think one thing that's been just, you know, we've been trying not to dwell on it too much. It's like, you know, watching our moms go through this, you can't help but think that like you're next, you know? And I, sorry, I know it's kind of morbid, but you know, we just wanted to be honest with you guys, but it's a hard thing to go through. I think that's what makes it so hard is it ends up, you know, reflecting your own mortality when you see it happen in somebody else. And I guess it's just a part of life. I always say that, you know, you know the thing about life, it'll kill you. <laughs> it will, but hopefully not today. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not today. <laughs> But y'all, it's, it's been a bad 2023, like... Yeah, it really wasn't that good of a year. I mean, we had our highlights, we had some fun, but it was really tough, yeah. you guys. But starting oh, man. the year with another mother passing, the RV going into the shop yet again, you know, it kind of feels like a repeat. <laughs> but hopefully we can get the RV fixed. You guys will have to stay tuned for our next video and see what's going on with that thing. You guys know it's just one problem after another, but usually we get it back on the road and we really... We, well, we can't leave it up here, so we really want to do more traveling into it. We need to do more traveling into it to get it back to probably ultimate, ultimately to Missouri or down to Texas or something like that. So the plan tomorrow is to go get Clementine, fingers and toes crossed <laughs> that she starts, and uh, drive her to the mechanic. I'm trying to cross my toes <laughs> <down> here. <laughs> All of it, everything. But we have a mechanic who is very confident. We explained all of the issues that we're having. We explained exactly what Clementine is, that she's an old rig that's been rebuilt, all this stuff. And Most he importantly, claims, he has availability. <laughs> he has availability, he has garage space to fit her, but we're hoping this puts us on a path for a much better 2024. Yes, we really want 2024 to be much more lighthearted than 2023 was. Yes. I know we didn't show, we shared some of that stuff with you guys, but we don't really, you know, when we're hanging out with our families and stuff when we're back in Missouri, we usually don't film all that much just because we'd rather just like kind of take the time off and spend time with them. Hopefully there won't be any emotional behind the scenes stuff to show you guys for 2024, I hope. Fingers yeah. crossed and toes. Yes. <laughs>
Oh, I, I don't have socks on. That was probably a little too gross. Sorry. <laughs> don't show these people your feet. So as far as upcoming plans for 2024, um, obviously we're going to have to travel a bit more in the RV, but we're very excited about that. There's still some parts of this country that we are dying to spend more time in and mm -hmm. to see properly. Uh, so you have to stay tuned for that, where we, where we decide to go and who we decide to meet up with along the way. Also, I think our travel trailer, Blackberry, Berry for short, will make an appearance at some point. We got some, some fun plans for it. And you guys know we keep talking about like a house or land or some kind of building project or something like that it's maybe in the works you know i don't want to let any cats out of the bag mainly because nothing's for certain with us <laughs> but stay tuned something's gonna happen should we show them that photo oh <laughs> for some reason allison brought this photo with us when we were looking through my mom's old photos well his Why brother his brother's moving and had to pack up and i didn't want it to get lost again so i brought it with us and i'm gonna put it in the rv is that in focus yeah there you go <laughs> There's me and little Allison. I think this was prom or something. His senior prom, my yeah. junior prom. Who framed up this photo? I don't know. They cut know. me off. Look at that hair, you guys. Look at the angst. Holy I just cow. love how like angry he is and how just completely dopey and oblivious yeah. I am. You look adorable, really. <laughs> I look like I have dog oh, ears. Man. I thought my hair looked so cool. What a great one. <laughs> yeah, we were little punk rockers. I thought I was Avril Lavigne and he was yeah. a skater boy. I think about growing my hair back out sometimes, but it's just so much easier with short hair like this, you know? I oh, can God. hear everyone right now at the keyboard being like, no, Eric, I remember last time you tried to grow it out. You guys have so many thoughts and opinions when I grow out my hair. It's crazy. It's a kitty cat. Oh my God, hi. Are you looking at us? There's this little black kitty cat that lives around this Airbnb that just moseys around, pops his head out every once in a while. He's so, so freaking cute. Sweet. You know, that's the main reason we want to get a house or some land or something, just so we can get a cat. <laughs> Guess what tomorrow is? Hmm? It's Allison's birthday. It's my birthday. Allison's freaking birthday, you guys. <laughs> we actually kind of started this tradition we've been doing for the last couple years where on our birthdays, we don't do anything. We really don't eat junk food hardly at all. Like, Doritos or ramen noodles or pop tarts. Those are all the things we like to eat on our birthday. So mm -hmm. we have one day out of the year where we just gorge ourselves on all this nasty processed food that we grew up with. All of our favorite child childhood snacks. Uh, so that is what we will be doing tomorrow after we get the RV yeah. all situated. You guys should let us know what your favorite childhood snacks are below and whether or not you still partake of them. <laughs> ravioli, that's what we should have gotten. <laughs> Chef Boyardee ravioli. Okay, no, SpaghettiOs, man. Yes, yeah, SpaghettiOs, Vienna sausages. How about that? I love Vienna sausages. He I don't know why. Does actually. Because they're kind of disgusting if you they're... think about it. It's almost like pate consistency. Yeah, don't read the ingredients. <laughs> they just taste like childhood. Or cat food? I don't know. That's what it is. Yeah, they probably taste more like cat food. <laughs> But yeah, we just eat a bunch of junk food, we sit around in our pajamas, and we binge watch some show. But right now we're watching 1883. Y'all. Can recommend. It is good. I don't know if we'll watch 1923's Annex and yeah. Yellowstone. But yeah, I guess that's it. Birthday starts now. We're gonna start it a day early, I guess. Why Yay, not? birthday weekend! Yeah, we've got champagne and orange juice in there. We're gonna make some mimosas. Somehow, some of you guys have already wished Allison a happy birthday. You guys knew that it was her birthday, I guess from previous videos or something. <laughs> I don't really have social media other no. than our channel, so like nobody ever knows when my birthday is. <laughs> nope, but somehow you guys knew, so yeah, good job. Yeah, good on you. You have to guess how old she is, so. Then we used to do that. We'd always make them try to guess your age. Yeah, yeah. It's just getting sadder <laughs> yeah. and the sadder. Old, the older we get, the more we don't want to do that gag Yo, anymore. Yo, when we started this channel, I was like turning 30 on it. Yeah, it's crazy. Now I'm getting close to 40. Like, what? Yeah, but we're still young. I always hate saying that because anyone who's like in their 40s or who's 50 or older, they're just like, that's not, you guys are still young. <laughs> it's just weird because we feel like we're still like yeah. freshly 30, but no. we're well into it now. We're freshly almost 40. <laughs> Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.